What's going on guys? Coming to you with an unboxing video today. It's going to be on the ATD878UV. This is a dual band, DMR capable ham radio. Uh, got this from Bridgecom. I also picked up the lapel mic here from Bridgecom that coincides with this radio. Uh, shout out to Bridgecom for setting us up with this package here. Uh, it's going to be a really great radio. Just starting to delve into DMR on the ham side. So this is going to be the entry level aspect of it. But uh, my objective today is to get this thing unboxed and let you have a look and see what comes with it when you order it from Bridgecom. Uh, we're going to pop the package open here. First thing is a sheet of paper here on top. Looks like it's got Bridgecom's information on the top here. It says to please start here and they've got a quick start guide that you'll go to. Um, they even give you a coupon code for their university so you don't have to pay for the course. You can actually go on and get that course for free when you purchase a radio from them. Um, it tells you on here that you have to install the driver. You don't have, excuse me, you do not have to install any drivers. Windows will automatically install all drivers needed. Do not manually install any drivers. So that's pretty cool that they include that. I don't think you'd get that if you ordered it just straight from the manufacturer. Um, let's see, we've got success, yeah, this is where they talk about their course, and then it gives you the links for the support and the downloads. Um, there's a support page for the Anytone units, you could download the CPS for the radio, you could set up an account on Bridgecom University, and they have a step-by-step -step guide that's going to guide you through on programming. Uh, so that's a pretty good feature there. Again, like I said, getting this from Bridgecom, that's what made the difference. We get our operating manual. Uh, Bridgecom includes two stickers, uh, both of which are Anytone stickers. That's a little bonus feature that I believe only Bridgecom is doing. And then we get into the meat and potatoes of this game. First thing we're going to do is we find the radio in here. We'll take it out of the plastic here. And this is the Anytone. It is a DMR capable radio, so it does digital as well as analog. Uh, there is a crap ton of features in this radio. Uh, I'll do a description of the radio itself that I'll copy over from Anytone and put it down in the description for you. Uh, I also have a link to Bridgecom Systems down there for you so you can go over and check them out. We'll pull this cardboard sleeve out, set the radio off here. Included in the package is a programming cable. Uh, looks to be a USB to, I guess what you would consider a Kenwood style connector. Uh, this is the same connector that you'd find on the lapel mic here. It's uh, the two pins, like a headphone jack and then the micro pin. That's going to plug into the side of the radio here, a little cover right there, rubber cover. Plug it in, you'll be able to program it once you download the CPS, which is customer programming software. You can get that off of their website. Uh, we'll keep digging in here. Looks like we've got, yep, belt clip. We've got the power supply for the charger. Here is the antenna. Uh, looks to be a SMA, connect, SMA connector. Uh, that'll screw right into the radio there. And this is listed as a high gain antenna. Uh, at some point, we'll throw this on the nano analyzer and we'll see how it analyzes out and see what kind of uh, readings we get off of it. We'll go ahead and pop in here. It looks like the charger is kind of stuck in there. Uh, you get a base charger. It comes with this desk charger here, uh, which I think is pretty neat. That's something you find with a lot of higher end radios. Um, bigger name brands that start with M and K and... I'm not sure about ICOM and uh, some of the others, but basically you've got the power supply that plugs in and this says it is a output 12 volts. So you could pretty much get a standard connector for this and have a charger for in the car that plugs into the cigarette lighter. You just have to get rid of the DC converter here. So that gets us that part, comes with a wrist strap. I don't know very many people that use this, but for those of you who would like to, it is included. And it looks like it goes ah right here on the back of the radio. So there would be that. And then one last compartment here. I'm going to pop this out. 
little cardboard sleeve in here. Nothing else in the box. So that takes care of getting everything out. We're going to open this up. And we have the battery. Now, this is a 3100 milliamp battery. Um, it is a lithium ion. So it'll attach to the radio. Looks like it sits in at the base here and snaps in. The belt clip is going to screw directly into the battery itself, which is pretty good. If you happen to bust that part out, you can replace the battery. I believe they're about $29. Uh, and you can also get replacement belt clips as well. So we'll be adding that on there. Uh, we'll hit the little switch here and see if the battery's got power. Tells me that it's booting. Please wait. All right. Calibrate date was 5-8-2020. And let's see. So look at that screen, guys. That screen is super clear. A lot of information on there. And I'm not going to delve into all the features and stuff like that until I've had a chance to actually mess around with this radio, do some programming on it, and get it set up. So if you want to stick with us, we're going to be coming to you with more videos, uh, especially pertaining to this radio. We'll have some videos on the features of the radio once I get familiar with them. And then we'll also do some features as far as programming. I'll try to do an analog programming video as well as a DMR programming video. Now, I'm in South Carolina, the upstate, so I'm going to be looking at a code plug for that section of the U.S. Uh, but at the end, the end of the day, uh, this thing has a ton of contact storage in it. I mean, it's unreal. I can't remember the exact numbers. Um, whether it tells me right here in the front of the manual or not right off the top, I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, I know that you can store tons of zones as well as contacts, frequencies, channels. You can switch from zone to zone. It's just a really all-around radio that's going to give you the ability to not only travel with it, but utilize it in multiple functions and features. Uh, we'll pop this mic out of the bag right quick just so you can get a look at it before we close the video out. First thing I noticed right off the bat is the cord itself does not feel very cheaply made. Uh, this is a Bridgecom mic, which you can see right there. It says Bridgecom on there. Uh, push the talk button, positive right there. Not very soft, feels nice and firm. There's a definite noticeable click to when you key down. Don't know if you'll pick that up on the mic or not. Then down here on the base of it, the, one of the features that Bridgecom includes is you have the ability to add an earpiece so you can listen to this and actually talk into the mic without having it broadcast all over the place. Uh, usually I would see that in my experience on emergency service type radios, police, law enforcement, um, fire department, EMS, things of that nature. And then we've got the connector down here. Looks like it's thin, slimline, should fit in there relatively well. And again, like I said, the cord feels really good. It's not super stiff. I mean, you can see here, it pretty much just kind of wads up and then flops back out. So it's not real stiff and gonna be cumbersome and aggravating. I think it's gonna accompany the radio really well. Guys, listen, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Stick with us. We're gonna be coming to you with more videos in the future. Give us a thumbs up, drop comments or questions down below, and be sure and hit that subscribe button for us.